Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So a little bit of a history lesson before we get into it. This is the review on the Universal Championship. This was debuted on SummerSlam when Finn Balor defeated uh, Seth Rollins for the championship. Unfortunately, he blew out his shoulder in the match. So unfortunately, he had to give up the belt. And that just started the brutal history of this championship. This championship, in my opinion, has the worst history. It was held by some of, in my opinion, the most part-time superstars. That's why I even have the Lesnar plates on it. It was passed to Lesnar, to Goldberg. Bray Wyatt had it for a bit, which was a huge positive. But if you really look at the history of this title, it had a brutal history. Not a lot of great champions held this belt. Um, it definitely was not the working man's championship. But that's not why you tuned in. You tuned in here for the review on the replica belt. So let's get into it. So just like all the other ones, there's really no difference when it comes to the beginning of these. Uh, you got that red, almost like alligator backing to this one. Um, in my opinion, I thought the red they chose was kind of off-putting. I wasn't a huge fan of the red when they debuted this belt. I thought I actually felt cheated. I was excited. I remember Googling photos of the universal championship like the ones that fan made up and it was uh it looked really nice for them just to do a cheap paint job on the cha championship that they currently had i was not a big fan of but anyway moving on from there you have the brock lesnar side plates on this guy um i'm a big side plate guy i think uh side plates really can make the belt pop more uh moving over here you got the WWE logo. The only thing that's really changed from all the other videos I've done this week is this one has a black that I actually think really pops. It's, I actually prefer the black going over it. I think if they put that black on the new belt that Roman has, I think it'd be a huge improvement. It would take away a little bit from the title design, but I think it would add so much more and add a lot more character to the belt. I actually really like the swoosh. And I wish they uh, continued it when they went on to the blue logo belt. Uh, besides that, uh, mine is restoned. All my W's are restoned. I think it just, these belts pop so much with the real stones in it versus the stock ones. It just pops so much. Um, besides that, uh, it has that fake stack plate that I've been talking about. I'm not a fan that they didn't actually stack it. I hate how thin the sidebars are but do i recommend these belts i actually do recommend if you're gonna get one of them if you're only gonna get one logo belt i recommend the roman one if you're gonna get them all then yes i do recommend it but one thing about this belt is this leather is really really stiff there's not a lot of play to it it literally yeah not a great leather job on this um, besides that, moving on over here, you have the WWE logo, uh, the same kind of, uh, look that they've all had. Uh, they haven't really changed too much when it came to this. This is the first time they've done this design versus the black strap did not have this design into it, which I do prefer, but it's really hard to get over that red. But moving on over here, Snapbox, uh... Nice gold tip, flip this bad boy over. So actually this belt, I literally bought it, sent it to my guy to get restoned, and uh, I didn't have it for long. I literally restoned it right off the bat. I got an amazing deal on this on WBShop.com for $200. Uh, I would definitely pick this up for $200. I would say it is worth $200, but it's definitely not worth the full price. I think it's $449 for the full price, which it is definitely not worth. But if you catch it on a good deal, then it is definitely worth it. Uh, this is the 2016 championship design. Um, definitely not the biggest fan of it, but I actually would say I prefer the blue one over it. But a little less negative news. If I had to choose one champion that I actually preferred holding this, I liked watching Brock Lesnar hold this championship. Uh, I was a big Brock Lesnar fan, and I thought that he did a good job making it more of a final boss title. Uh, I don't mind when champions don't show up every day. I don't mind the Roman Reigns doesn't work every pay-per-view. 
uh, as long as you have someone there to recognize, to um, show up uh, with a championship, like Gunther is doing a great job. Uh, champions like that really make it. I don't think you need the world championship defended every pay-per-view, but it definitely does add to the ticket sales. Besides that, this is the belt design. Do I recommend it? No. Unless you really, really, really like that two years that this belt was around for, then sure, pick it up. But personally, I do not recommend this title design. Let me know. Do you own one? Do you think about picking one up? And let me know. Do you own any of the Universal belts? If you see any belts on my wall that I've not done a review on, I have a lot more if you look at my uh, other videos. Uh, comment below. I'll make sure I get a video up right away. And hopefully everyone had a happy holidays and looking forward to all my new videos and all the new things I plan for the new year. Like WrestleMania 40. Let's go.